What's up guys, my name is Kyle White, I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of muscle knots in our neck, upper trap, shoulders, and upper back region. This is going to be a great, quick way to get rid of those pesky, pesky muscle knots, and it's going to be very cost effective because all we're going to use is a lacrosse ball in our own hands, and more importantly, we're going to get you relief quickly, and I know now, if you're in pain and you have a muscle knot, we've all experienced that, you want to get relief as quick as possible. Do me a favor, if at any time you find yourself enjoying this video, hit that like button. Uh, it goes a long way to help us out. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate each and every one of our followers. And with that, we'll kind of get into an anatomy breakdown. And so, some of the big muscles that like to cause muscle knots. I see it every day as a phys physical therapist. Suboccipital muscles right here, off the skull, right in there. The big upper trap right here loves to cause issues. And also the rumble is kind of running on the middle, just lateral to that spine area. Those three guys love to give us problems and we're gonna, we're gonna take them down in this video. Stick with us. So for the first one, I'm going to put the ball down because all we need is our own hands. So we're going to kind of take two fingers. I want you to come down. We're going to come off our skull. And you kind of feel where it gets a little soft off the skull. You're right on top of those suboccipitals we mentioned in the intro there. So what you're going to do, take those two fingers, dig deep. You feel that? Oh, that's a little tender. Oof, a lot of tension. If you're having headaches in the back of your head, these guys a lot of times are causing those. So we're going to kind of dig in there. We're just going to kind of do circles. I hope my facial grimace doesn't give it too, uh, too much away. It is a little tender, but these guys love to get tight. And so we're just going to kind of massage. Circular motion, just like so. Circular motion is best. We're going to do that for two minutes. Okay, it's kind of loosening up now. All right, so now we're gonna take our fingers, we're gonna add pressure, but then we're gonna move. So our fingers aren't really moving, we're gonna get the movement ourselves. So we're gonna come off the skull, find our spot. Oh, that's tender, yeah, that's it. And then we're just gonna kind of come straight back while applying that pressure. Straight back. In about 10 reps of this, should be good. You don't want to get too sore from that. All right, next we're just going to go one-sided. We got 10 reps of that. We're going to move kind of quick through this, if you haven't noticed already. Uh, I don't want to lose you. I want to keep things rolling, show you what to do, and you can practice this in your, in your own time. So we're going to go one-handed off the, off the skull and the suboccipitals, and we're just going to rotate side to side. If you hear a little crunch, that's not a bad thing. That's just that muscle fiber kind of running under it. Could be a good thing. Could mean you're breaking up scar tissue or a muscle knot. About 10 side to side on each side, and that's good. All right, so we've kind of addressed those suboccipitals. We're gonna come back to those with the lacrosse ball, I'm going to show you a great way, probably the best way to relieve tension there. So next we're going to kind of come to our upper trap here. I'm feeling around, I'm feeling around. There it is. Oh my goodness. We found it. You can kind of loosen it up. Really tender. But the best way to relieve that is what we just did with the suboccipitals. Add a little movement. So if you refer back to the anatomy picture, you saw where that trap actually attached up here to the bottom of the skull and then runs down here to the shoulder. So if we're moving side to side with this, we're basically flossing that trap under our fingers and therefore rubbing out that muscle knot. Really easy exercise. Anybody can do it. We can do it at home. It feels amazing. 
about 20 reps on that side and then we'll swap sides here and do the same thing and by all means kind of feel around kind of find where your specific muscle knot is I'm right here but you may feel around and oof right there this is all upper trap this is all free game oh and that kind of got me add some movement Side to side, flossing that upper trap back and forth. Let's get into some other stuff. All right, so we're coming in close for this one. We're gonna take our lacrosse ball we've been hyping up. We're gonna take it. We're gonna kinda come find the base of our skull. And we're gonna place it right there on those suboccipital muscles. And we have accepted the weight of our own head so it's a lot more passive. We're not having to dig in with our fingers. If you've got arthritis in your fingers, this is a great alternative. And so all we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda roll this ball around until we find our tender spot. Yep, I found it. And we're gonna rotate back and forth. Can do forward and back as well. I recommend 20 rotations each way. 20 side to side, 20 up and down, very relaxing. And by all means, find the spot and stay on it. So I'm kind of finding a spot on myself right now, and I'm kind of getting after it. So we can actually take the ball, move it down to kind of that upper trap region, and we can kind of move around and do the same thing there. Not as effective as it was for the suboccipital region though. We'll see what else we can get into. And so we're definitely, you know, kind of getting into some very unconventional treatment methods, but they are very effective. And these are things that you can do at your home. You don't have to go hire a massage therapist. You're saving a lot of money with just a lacrosse ball. So we mentioned uh, the rhomboid along with the upper trap and suboccipital muscles earlier in the video. Well, now we're gonna address that rumble. I'm gonna place this ball on the wall. We're gonna go, the hardest part's gonna be positioning the ball. We're gonna kinda go just inside of the shoulder blade, just right, if we're treating the right rhomboid, right of the spine, left of the right scapular blade. And we're just gonna kinda work up and down, and then we can actually move our arm I'm kind of getting off to the side. Let's see if we can better this. And this is good. This is showing you trouble that you might have. And so, kind of get right there is going to be my spot. And we can kind of add some arm movement in with this. Work up and down. And by all means. So if we find a spot there with our arm here, hit that about five times or until you feel a little bit relief and then kind of come out into a different spot find a different muscle knot that you need worked out experiment with it, you can come all the way across and that is money for me, it may be different for you and that's just me being honest, I'm not going to sit here and say that I found the best position for you to get rid of muscle knots but this is kind of putting that scapula more in a protracted position. It's kind of stretching the muscles out. And that's really good there. Now, we've kind of relieved our muscle knots. Let's talk about how we can prevent them in the future and prevent them permanently. So at this point, we've kind of figured out ways that we can get rid of muscle knots. But you may also be wondering, why do I have these muscle knots? What's wrong with me? Is there something I can do to prevent this in the future? And yes, absolutely you can. A lot of times we get muscle knots uh, due to a muscle being on tension or on load for long periods of time. It gets aggravated, it gets inflamed, and these knots form as a result of that. So what's causing it to be on load for long periods of time? Usually in the upper region, region it's going to be posture. And so maybe if I'm here... I'm kind of 
you know, putting these muscles up a trap more on a stretch and that's causing it. Or maybe I'm, you know, rounding up my shoulders, you know, I look like a boxer, um, putting that rhomboid muscle more on a stretch, but it's at the same time, it's trying to pull my shoulder blade back to the middle where it's supposed to be. And so how do we prevent these? I'm gonna give you three good exercises to prevent all three is gonna address this entire upper region. First one's gonna be a chin tuck. So we're gonna come here, kind of use your fingers as a guide, and you're gonna to try to flatten out the back of your neck. Imagine there being a wall behind you and you're trying to push your upper cervical spine into that wall. We're making as many double chins as we can. You, the more the better. I'm telling you right now, the more double chins, the better with this exercise. There's no shame. So we're here. Five second hold, 30 times. And we're gonna progress this one. We're gonna progress it into chin tuck and then extending back. We've gotta make sure we've got a good extension in our cervical spine. Chin tuck and back. A set of 30 of those every two days, every day if you can tolerate it, but if you're a little bit sore by doing it every day, every other day, would be great to correct that posture. And so what about the rhomboids? All we're gonna do there is kind of a scapular squeeze. I'll kind of rotate here. And the goal of this exercise is to squeeze your shoulder blades together. We're kind of opening up the front of our chest. Back, we're gonna do five second holds. We're gonna do 30 times. So. We talked about how we can get rid of these muscle knots. I really want you to prevent them in the future. You know, the goal of all, with all my patients in the physical therapy clinic is to decrease pain, first of all, decrease what's triggering them, what's causing, causing them problems, and then we wanna get into strengthening so that we uh, don't have the same problem in the future. I would love for you to keep coming back and watching this video over and over to help me out, but I would prefer you grab all that you can from the video the first time and not need it anymore. That's kind of my role as a physical therapist. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. A lot of good things coming. We'd love to have you.